AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Here are today's top headlines. Vendel and Vitakin may lose control of Porsche. The EPA says German automakers can no longer fall short of fuel economy standards. And Ford is looking at using lasers instead of spark plugs. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Monday, July 20th, 2009, and now the news. Reuters reports that Magna will soon offer GM a take-it-or-leave-it bid to buy Opel. It says Magna will demand access to all of Opel's intellectual property and wants to build cars under its own brand. It also says Magna's finance partner in the deal, Russian bank Sparabank, would turn over its shares in Opel to a Russian automaker. The Wall Street Journal says Vendel and Vitakin, the CEO of Porsche, will lose operational control of the company, even though he will retain the CEO title for now. Vitakin tried to mastermind a takeover of VW, and he ran Porsche's debt up to $9 billion in the process. But with the collapse in the global economy, Porsche could no longer service that debt, and now Air Vitakin's audacious plans have collapsed. Porsche, by the way, denies these reports. The new CAFE requirements will be enforced more strictly by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency when they go into effect. According to Wards, the EPA will not allow automakers to buy their way out of meeting fuel economy standards. Between 1983 and 2007, NHTSA collected over $770 million in fines, mostly from BMW, Mercedes, and Porsche. Penalties for missing the new requirements have not been determined yet. There is a potential battle heating up between the UAW and Toyota. According to the AFP, Toyota is considering closing the Numi plant in California after GM pulled out of the joint venture. The union confirmed it's in talks with the company to try and keep that plant open. Toyota is looking at way to, ways to cut costs at the plant that built over 350,000 vehicles for the company each year and it will undoubtedly want the same concessions the Detroit automakers got from the UAW. Engineers at Ford and scientists at Liverpool University in England have developed a technology that could do away with the spark plug. The Telegraph reports the new ignition system uses laser light to ignite fuel and air inside an engine. The focused beams of light can deliver more stable combustion, which reduces fuel consumption. The system should allow cars to start more easily in low temperatures, cutting cold start emissions by 80%. And this has got to be the craziest incentive around. If you buy a new American truck from Max Motors in Butler, Missouri, you get a voucher for a free AK-47. Thankfully, the dealership is not just handing out free Kalashnikovs. Buyers get a coupon to take to any reputable gun shop where they receive a proper background check before getting their weapon. But I've got to ask, pickup buyers are the most loyal Buy American owners out there. So why is this guy giving away Russian assault weapons? Aren't American assault weapons good enough? Coming up next, we'll take a look at what we've got in the garage this week. We'll be back right after this. Changing tires out here could be dangerous, but with these tires, I don't need to worry. Bridgestone. To keep you, our loyal AutoLine Daily audience, up to speed on the latest product news, we get all kinds of cars to test and report on. This week, we've got our hands on a BMW 128i. As you probably know, the 1 Series is the least expensive Bimmer offered in the U.S., but there's nothing cheap about the way it drives. AutoLine Daily producer Craig Cole reports. BMW is known for doing quite a few things. First of all, they're world famous for their silky smooth straight six engines. Second, they're also known for building rear wheel drive performance cars. And this 128i is no exception. It offers all of these traditional BMW virtues in a smaller, more affordable package. Starting out on the interior, there are a lot of things that I really like about this car. First and foremost, I'm really pleased with the job BMW did matching the texture on the hard plastic with the 
texture on the leather and other surfaces. That they, they matched it very close. I'm very impressed by that. Another feature I really like about this car is the shifter. It's smooth, it's slick, it's easy to use. And so is the clutch. It's got a broad engagement range that makes the car very easy to drive, even for beginners, I think. But back to the shifter, I don't care for the knob BMW put on top. It doesn't really fit your hand very well, and I think they could have done a better job on it. But paired with the slick shifting transmission is an equally able engine. Let's take a look. As I mentioned earlier, BMW is famous for its straight six engines. Let's pop the hood on our test car and take a look. This particular model displaces three liters and it kicks out 230 horsepower. Now, that is plenty of power for this small car, but if you want a little bit more get up and go, the company offers a three liter twin turbocharged straight six with 300 horsepower. I can't imagine how fast that car would be. This particular test vehicle stickers for right around $32,000, which, when you think about it, is a pretty good price for a BMW, considering what you get. Altogether, it's one small car I would love to have in my garage. Thanks, Craig. The 128i starts right around $30,000. It's quick, smooth, and an absolute blast to drive. And according to the digital readout, we even got around 30 miles per gallon. Not too shabby. Also, like every BMW, it includes the company's free scheduled maintenance for the length of the factory warranty, four years or 50,000 miles. Hey, don't miss AutoLine After Hours on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern when our Skype guest will be Art Spinella from CNW Marketing. He's the guy who did a marketing clinic in California a couple of years ago where he switched badges on a Toyota and a Chevrolet and found that consumers preferred the Chevy with the Toyota badge but didn't like the Toyota with the Chevy badge. Art Spinella is going to have some interesting stories to tell us. Anyway, that does it for today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.